Upstreet Online, what's happening friends? I'm so happy to be with you guys here today talking about faith. What's faith? Well, that's a good question. And how do we have faith? Well, that's another good question. Faith in what, you may ask? Another good question. And fortunately, that's what we're talking about. Faith and questions. So it's a good thing you're here. And a guy that I always have questions about is Caleb from That Show with That Guy. And I wonder how he comes up with all his crazy ideas. But let's see what he's got planned for us today. Welcome back to another episode of That Show. My name is Caleb. And I'm Lauren. And we are doing the Whisper Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> The way that the Whisper Challenge works is like this. We're gonna both put in headphones and listen to our various playlists. I'm probably gonna listen to some smooth jazz. Oh, love it. Um, and then after that, we're gonna put noise-canceling headphones over the headphones playing said music. Then, one at a time, I will whisper a phrase to Lauren while she can't really hear that well, and she's gotta guess what I'm saying by reading. Do you know what I said there? I hope so. Or else this is gonna be a long episode for you. So, Lauren, you wanna go first? Yeah, I'm ready. Cool, put in your headphones. Okay, here we go. I'm listening to Andy Stanley sermons. Here we go! Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday? Yes, you got it, let's go! Okay, swap now, Okay. that's one. All right, here we go. Okay. One more time. It's like parched baggins. <laughs> yeah. Like Bilbo baggins. Very close. Okay. Oh, March March Madness. Yay! Yay! Round two. I'm not gonna give her so much enunciation on this one. Okay, ready? St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> See, I'm not enunciating this time. St. Patrick's Day. St. May. St. Saint... St. Patrick's Day! Yeah! <laughs> you can see it like click in a... Okay, okay, we got a little jig, a little jig for the people. <laughs> Round two for me. Okay. <laughs> James washes. <laughs> James Washes is all on the scene. <laughs> what is James Washes? Okay. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Shamrock City! Yeah! <laughs> uh. One more round for each of us. She'll guess, I'll guess. Squish Malo. <laughs> Squish. Malin. Mall? I'll do it again. Squ Squish Malo. Squish Malo! No way! <laughs> You got it. It's because I also can't, I can't hear in regular. <laughs> so, so you're actually a professional yeah. lip reader, yeah. okay. I think I'm just gonna do it like this. I feel okay. like I'm getting clowned right now. <laughs> Ma'am, you need to get that checked. <laughs> All right. Santa Claus, love somebody. Stay saucy, love on somebody, and I'll catch you on the next episode! That's my saying, Lauren. It's it's my saying. We say it at the my, end of trying my best. every episode. But that's it. Thanks for joining us on the Whisper Challenge. Lauren definitely got the win there, so for that, you get a crisp high five. Oh, that sounded crispy. Thank you for joining us. And as always, one, two, three. Stay, stay saucy, saucy, love, love on, on somebody, somebody, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Peace. Peace! Did you hear all that or is your hearing still like? I'm done. <laughs> Bye. All right, guys, I have a crazy fact for you. Did you know that the average person asks more than 200 questions a day? We may not say them all out loud all the time, but we all have questions because we all want to know stuff, like how a gumball machine works. All right, so I know that when I put my quarter into this slot and turn the handle, mm. 
boom, I get a gumball just like this. But you know what? I have no idea what's actually happening inside this machine to deliver this sugary goodness into my hand. Or how about this super awesome remote control car? I know that when I move the lever like this, the car moves forward. And when I move it like this, the car goes backwards. But I don't know really how it works. Like how does this little controller actually make this car go? Or how about FaceTime? I know that when I tap my grandma's number in my favorites list, my grandma who lives across the country appears on my screen. That's amazing. And I have no idea how it actually works. How does this gumball machine consistently deliver that chewy bubble popping goodness? And why do I always seem to get the white ones? Or how does this lever make the wheels on this car go? Or how can my grandma live 12 hours away and yet I still see her face on this screen? I have questions, so many questions. But you know what? I still get gumballs and I still race my remote control car and I still talk to my grandma. Asking questions doesn't change the fact that these things keep right on working. We all have questions sometimes. Questions aren't bad. Asking questions is actually a good thing. And not just questions about gumball machines or FaceTime. I mean, it's okay to ask big questions, even questions about Jesus and God. There's a guy we can read about in the Bible named Peter who had questions for Jesus too. I mean, he was one of Jesus's closest friends and saw Jesus do totally crazy, totally amazing things. He was there to see Jesus heal people just by touching them. And he watched Jesus turn one small lunch into a feast for thousands of people. Peter believed in Jesus. I mean, he knew Jesus could do anything. And well, right after Jesus fed this huge crowd, he told his friends to get into a boat and to head to the other side of the lake. And Jesus, he was gonna go off by himself to pray. Peter and the other disciples, Jesus' friends, they got in the boat to head across the Sea of Galilee. They go way out, like, like a long way from shore. And by this time, it's dark and the wind, it's blowing really hard. In fact, the wind is blowing so hard that it's tossing the boat around. And right before dawn, they saw something out on the water, something coming right toward the boat. It's a ghost, they screamed. I mean, they were terrified, but it wasn't a ghost. As soon as the figure got closer, Peter and the disciples realized it was Jesus coming toward them. I mean, Jesus was walking on the water and not sinking. Then Jesus said, have courage, it's me, don't be afraid. And just to be sure he was seeing what he thought he was seeing, Peter cried out, Lord, if it's you, tell me to come to you on the water. And Jesus said one word, come. Peter was so confident. I mean, he swung that leg over the side of the boat, like here I come, Jesus. I mean, he had just seen all that Jesus could do. Like he just saw him feed that huge crowd hours before. So he knew Jesus could do amazing things that no one could explain. So Peter climbed over the edge of the boat right on the water. Then Peter started walking on the water, like toward Jesus. And I think at that moment, that's when all the questions started to flood his mind. Like, how is this happening? Why am I not sinking right now? Can I actually make it all the way to Jesus? Am I gonna drown? He took his eyes off Jesus and that's when Peter started to sink. And he was going down fast. And at that moment, Jesus reached out, grabbed Peter's hand, and Jesus looked at Peter and said, your faith is so small. Why did you doubt me? It's like Jesus was saying, Peter, it's okay to have questions, but you don't have to doubt me. I'm Jesus, I've got you. Then they climbed into the boat. The disciples, they stared at Jesus in wonder and said, you really are the son of God. After they saw all of this, do you think the disciples had questions? You bet they did. They couldn't explain how Peter could walk on water or how Jesus could heal the sick or how he fed thousands with one small lunch or how Jesus himself was walking on water. And yet, they knew deep down 
that Jesus was the Son of God. They believed even when their questions didn't all get answered. And you know what? You can too. You can have questions and still believe in Jesus. Questions aren't bad. Questions just mean you want to know more. I don't have to know everything to trust Jesus. That's what faith is. I can believe he is who he says he is. I can put my trust in Jesus. I can believe in Jesus and keep asking questions. You know, the best thing to do when you have questions about Jesus is to read your Bible. There are, are four whole books in the Bible about Jesus's life on earth. And you can also ask adults in your life that you trust, like your parents and small group leaders and other adults you know that follow God. You can pray too, and you can talk to God about your questions. We won't always get all of our questions about faith answered. Just like we still won't know how everything from gumball machines and remote control cars and FaceTime works the way it does. But you know what? That's okay. Because you can have questions and still believe in Jesus. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for sending us Jesus and help us to continue to learn and realize that we don't have to have it all figured out to believe in him and to trust him, God. And, and help us to know that our questions just mean we want to know more. So help us to grow in our faith. We love you, God. Amen. Truth from God, because he loves you. Now faith is confident in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Hebrews 11. Learn it, lock it, live it.
Papa, 